With regard to the first question, how many number of ATP formed in mitochondria alone? In total aerobic respiration, only in mitochondria, how many number of ATP is formed? Suppose if you take glycolysis, in which two ATP formed as varieties, substrate level phosphorylation. In this glycolysis, two NADH2. In between glycolysis and Krebs cycle, two NADH2 link reaction. In case of Krebs cycle, it is six NADH2. In Krebs cycle, two FADH2. And in Krebs cycle, two ATP as substrate level phosphorylation. So, all these events which are taking place in mitochondria. For this, these two NADH2, 6 ATP. And in case of Krebs cycle, 6 NADH2, 18 ATP. 2 FADH2, it is the 4 ATP. And these two ATP as substrate level phosphorylation. So, in case of mitochondria, these ATP which are formed, whether due to substrate level phosphorylation or due to oxidation. So, if we count this, it is 30 ATP. The 2 NADS2, it has to enter into what it is mitochondria in order to yield what it is the ATP. So, it is going to give 6 ATP. So, 6 ATP by oxidation of NADS2 in mitochondria. In mitochondria, it is 30 ATP. So, total of it is 36 ATP formed in mitochondria alone. Second question, if DHAP is not isomerized, how many number of ATP formed by oxidation of all coenzymes per one glucose molecule? In case of glycolysis, in between glycolysis Krebs cycle and in case of Krebs cycle. For it is 1G3P in case of glycolysis 1 NADH2. For G3P 1 NADH2, 2 ATP formed in substrate level, but we are not going to consider this substrate level phosphorylation. In between glycolysis and Krebs cycle, 1 NADH2 because 1 G3P here it is 1 pyruvic acid and in case of Krebs cycle 3 NADH2 1 FADH2 because for 1 pyruvic acid it is 1 acetyl coenzyme A. And this NADH2 on oxidation, 3 ATP. The link reaction NADH2 oxidation, 3 ATP. The 3 NADH2, 9 ATP. 1 FADH2, 2 ATP. So, total it is. 11 ATP. So, 11 ATP, it is 3 ATP and 3 ATP. Total it is 17 ATP. Suppose if the question it is, if DHAP is not isomerized, how many number of ATP formed per 1 glucose, then you have to consider the 2 ATP of the glycolysis at 1 ATP of the Krebs cycle, so it comes in to what it is 20 ATP. So, oxidation of 1 G3P yields 20 ATP. If you consider only the coenzymes, it is 
the 17 ATP. Third question, if fructose 165 phosphate directly used in aerobic respiration, number of ATP, total number of ATP to net ATP in case of what it is aerobic respiration. If fructose 16 biphosphate, 1 G3P, 1 DHAP, it is isomerized to what it is again G3P. So, for 1 G3P, 20 ATP. So, another G3P, 20 ATP. So, as 2 G3P are directly formed from what it is fructose 16 biphosphate, it is going to yield 40 ATP. Because earlier first and third reaction there is no consumption directly fructose 16 biphosphate 2 G3P. Earlier we said for 1 G3P 20 ATP, another G3P 20 it is 40. It is 40 ATP and this 40 ATP it is total as well as what it is net. So, total number of ATP 40, net gain of ATP also what it is 40, because 1 and 3 reaction there is no consumption directly we quoted what it is fructose 16 biphosphate. In fourth question 1 PAP on oxidation yields dash number of ATP that is how many number of ATP with oxidation of what it is 1 PAP. In case of glycolysis 1 G3P 1 NADS2, 1 ATP, 1 ATP, which are formed in substrate level phosphorylation. And in glycolysis, it yields 1 pyruvic acid because 1 PAP is going to give 1 pyruvic acid plus. ATP. And this pyruvic acid, it form acetyl coenzyme A and it is the TCA. Here it is 1 NADS2, NADS2, 1 ATP 1 FADS2 1 NADS2 in case of TCA. So, here 1 PAP on oxidation yields how many number of ATP? If we consider this, it is mitochondria 1, 2, 3, 4 NADS2. The 4 NADS2 that is 12 ATP, 1 FADS2, 2 ATP, here it is 1 ATP, it is 15 ATP. So, for this, we are considering this as mitochondria, it yields how many number of ATP? 15 ATP. And earlier, 1 PAP is going to yield 1 pyruvic acid plus what it is ATP. That 15 plus 1 ATP, it is 16 ATP for oxidation of 1 phosphoenol pyruvic acid. And fifth question, number of NADS2 formed for 1 glucose in TCA. So, here for 1 G3P, in case of TCA, 1, 2, 3 NADS2. For 1 glucose, another G3P, that is 2 G3P, here 1, 2, 3, how many NADS2 it is? 6 NADS2. Number of NADS2 formed for 1 glucose in TCA, that is 6. 
two turns of the Krebs cycle going to give 1, 2, 3, again 3, 6 and 8 is 2. And with regard to this number of questions which are so linked in case of the Krebs cycle, with regard to the bionumerals, that is number of ATP calculation, it is very, very important in neat point of view. So, keep watching for bionumerals. Thank you very much.